All right, today is Tuesday, and that means it is Tip Tuesday here on our Get Organized Facebook page. And today we are talking about portable sewing machines and how to get them to be a little bit more portable as you may take them with you on short or lengthy trips or even to friends' homes and have sewing uh, parties and such. Um, so let's get started on today's Tip Tuesday. I have in front of me a sewing machine that I actually purchased my granddaughter at Christmas. And I don't know the cost. It was probably around $80. So it's a very small, you can see my hand here, it's a very small sewing machine. But actually I have been most impressed with it. Uh, not only in its durability and speed, it just sounds strong, it feels strong when it sews, um, and this is not a marketing thing for the sewing machine, but um, it's, it, this is portable. It's, it's portable. It has a handle on it. Um, it has a plate that can go right here and make more of a table out that you can put your material on. Uh, it has some cords. Uh, it's also battery operated. Did you see that? Yes, it's battery operated too. But it also has some cords back here that will make it electrical and it has a foot pedal. So it has a few accessories with it. Now I'm not talking about my sewing accessories. I'm talking about the accessories that actually go with the machine. So I love this and my goal is to use it for myself a little bit, but it's mainly, it's my, it's my granddaughters and I'm teaching her how to sew. Um, and uh, this has been a new thing in our family for her. So. We go down, a lot of times we have property in another uh, another city that we go to and often go down there and just sort of hang out and get away. And we have decided this time one of the things we're going to do down there is do some sewing. So I was like, I need to have something. I don't want to throw this in a cardboard box, right, and go down there. So what can we use? So I was looking around at something very inexpensive. I already have an accessory box, which I showed you guys last week on our Tip Tuesday. So I didn't need anything for accessories. I just needed something to store this and the few accessories that comes with it. So I happen to be walking around at Walmart, which is what we all do now for fun, right? Uh, and I came to this. Now, if you notice, last week I talked about an accessory bag that matches this identically. So you can have the whole look and the whole function and it works great. Well, this is actually the sewing machine bag. And in the bottom here, it's just an open thing. You're gonna, you're gonna lay this down in the bottom and it makes it strong in there. There's no pockets or anything. I would have loved to see some kind of pocket or something on the outside or at least on the inside. Um, that would have been a bonus feature for me, but it, it didn't have it. But it's very, very well made and you can even feel the quality of it. And I just take the sewing machine now, while there are a lot more larger portable sewing machines, uh, I realize this one is smaller, but it would fit any of the sizes that are the standard sizes. You can see how much more space that I have. I also took a, uh, a, a bag. I always have extra bags from cosmetic bags to bags I've ordered, uh, or maybe sheets or pillowcases came in. I save often those. And I just happen to have this bag, and this is the foot pedal and the electrical cord that I didn't want just floating around the bottom of this and scratching the machine or anything. So I actually took it and I'm gonna put this in here and I have everything that I need. Now this, I'm gonna show you the paper that came with this. Um, and you can see the dimensions and the sizes there. And I wanna say this was probably about $25, $24.99 at Walmart in the craft department. And like I said last time on Tip Tuesday last week, go to walmart's craft department they have so many different things that you would that could be used for various uh areas not just for crafts you could uh, also take this and put it in your car and use it to take in returns or um, umbrellas or store things it's a large it doesn't it's not compartmentalized like we saw last week but it definitely will do the trick and um, it's very sturdy and strong so there is our portable bag for our sewing machine and I can put it on my shoulder I can carry it with my hand and it's really easy to transport uh, and again very very sturdy so I'm very happy with this purchase 
and it, hopefully it will help you guys be a little bit more organized if you're taking your sewing machine to someone's house or even into another room of your home to actually um, do some sewing. So I'm going to show you some pillows hopefully as we get going on our uh, sewing adventure. All right, so I want to remind you guys what we're giving away for Tip Tuesday for the entire month of February. So how do you win anything that we're giving away? You have to leave a comment down below or share any of our Tip Tuesdays for the month of February. And the more you share, the more comment you make, you'll be able to get in to win this this month. These are heat erasable markers. So basically, if you're so into sewing, you can take this, mark on your fabrics, iron over it, and they disappear. Where did it go? I just had it right there. You saw me holding it up. It was, it was right there. It disappeared. That's how good those markers are. Comes in four colors with four refills, one color of each. So make comments and share our Tip Tuesdays. And next week on Tip Tuesday, we're going to be talking about I don't even know what they're called. I have to actually figure out the name, but it's like on the tip of my tongue. It's those little packets that come with like shoes and electronics that take out the moisture, whatever those are. We're going to talk about this next week and how you can use those for getting organized. Yeah, you can. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great week. And remember here on Tip Tuesday, I'm always giving you tips about your home, business, or life getting them organized. So join me each week on Tip Tuesday for more organizing talk and always go to our Facebook page uh, for other things throughout the week. And don't forget our YouTube page. A lot of past Tip Tuesdays are on there that you can go and check them out. And I will see you guys next week on Tip Tuesday. Bye guys.